Welcome to this video. Today, you're going to learn how to use arrive, reach, and get. This is a question that a student had asked and it's a great question, so I'm happy to answer it for you. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you feel confident speaking English in public so you can take your career and your life to the next level. Now, before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Let's talk about how to use arrive, reach, and get. So all three of these are used with destinations and talking about your final point being at a destination. The real difference is in the sentence structure. So make sure you pay attention to how to form sentences using each three. Now also, all three of these are verbs, so you need to remember to conjugate the verb according to the subject and the time reference. So now, let's talk about the sentence structure for arrive. For sentence structure, you arrive at a location. We use at as the preposition when we're talking about a specific location. For example, the airport, the shopping mall, the library, the office, those are all specific destinations. I arrived at the airport early. Then you can just add your time reference. I arrived at the airport early. Now, we use a different preposition when we're talking about countries, cities, or towns. We use the preposition in, arrive in a country or a city. So for example, she arrived in Chicago last night. She arrived in Chicago last night. Now, when you're using the noun home, just that one noun, home, we don't use the preposition. So you could say, we arrived home five minutes ago. We arrived home. So we don't use a preposition with the noun home. One mistake I commonly hear is using the preposition to. We arrive to the airport. We arrive to Chicago. We don't use the preposition to. That's a mistake, it's never used. The two choice of prepositions are in or at. That's what you can use. Now let's compare this to the sentence structure with reach. The difference is with reach, we don't use a preposition. So it's simply reach and your noun. So for example, I reached the airport early. I don't say reach to, reach in, reach at, there's no preposition. Reach plus noun. I reached the airport early. Now every GPS that I've heard always says, you have reached your destination. In 20 meters, turn left and you've reached your destination. So remember, reach plus noun. Now remember that all three of these, arrive, reach, and get, are all interchangeable. They have the same meaning. But when we use reach, usually we use it when there's a level of difficulty or a lot of effort involved. That's not a requirement. So for example, when your GPS tells you you have reached your destination, it's not because there was difficulty or a lot of effort involved. That's not the case. But just sometimes we use reach specifically with difficulty or effort. So for example, you could say, it took me hours to reach the top of the mountain. It took John hours to reach the finish line. So in that case, there's a level of difficulty or effort involved. And finally, get to. So notice, you get to plus location. So here you use to. Remember I told you that with arrive, you don't use the preposition to. And this is why that mistake happens because with get, you always use the preposition to. That's the only choice. Get to noun. We got to the airport early. She got to Chicago five minutes ago. 
We got to the mall on time. So get to. The only exception is with the noun home. So only with that one noun, we don't use the preposition to. I got home five minutes ago. Now remember, all three of these verbs have the same meaning. I would just add that get to is the most casual, the most conversational, and because of that, it's the one most commonly used by native speakers. So I personally don't use arrive, and I don't use reach, I always use get to. That's the choice that I use, and that's the choice that I hear native speakers use most of the time. However, you are welcome to use all three, and all three are grammatically correct as long as you get the sentence structure. So now you know how to use arrive, reach, and get when we're talking about a location. So it's your turn to practice. I want you to leave three examples in the comments below using arrive, reach, and get. And make sure you pay attention to that sentence structure and the prepositions used. And don't forget to conjugate your verb as well. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. And before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, jforestenglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. Awesome job expanding your vocabulary and sounding more natural. I can't wait to read your example sentences in the comments below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.